If you would like to put summer in a jar, you just might look to Turkmenistan, a beautiful country in Central Asia where they've learned to bottle up summer, quite literally. This week we tried watermelon jam, which is something they might serve in a typical Turkmen tea party. Watermelon jam is very characteristic of the area because in this region, there are tons of varieties of watermelon, more than 400, if you include cantaloupe and watermelons and all different kinds. They even have a national holiday called Melon Day in Turkmenistan to celebrate the bounty of this amazing fruit. So back to our watermelon jam, I got to business in Oklahoma right now. The watermelons are lovely, so it was a beautiful, sweet, jam with only a few ingredients, literally watermelon, lemon juice, and sugar, and then a little bit of pectin. The process of making jam, I've never done it before because it seems really scientific, and it came out really great, and I think this would be a wonderful thing to give family and friends, especially around Christmas time when we're all missing the summer so much. There is something I learned though. At first I started with cold water and put the jars of jam in there and then brought it up to a simmer. Well, that is not what you're supposed to do with jam, and if you actually cook pectin too long, the jam will break apart and it won't set unless it's in the refrigerator. So this, I learned that yes, there is quite a bit of science to watermelon jam, and once I figured that out, I just added the jars to already boiling water. As for our tea, we had a lot of fun. We did it after a swim out at Lake Ulaga in Oklahoma, and we set up a bunch of typical things that you would have at a Central Asian tea party. Fruit, lots of fruit and nuts. So you could try apricots, grapes, plums, those would all be really traditional, as would, of course, the melon. And if you're not serving watermelon jam, you could just serve regular watermelon or cantaloupe is even better, especially dried cantaloupe, one of the favorites of the people of Turkmenistan. After the fruit and nuts, then there's also the really sweet thing, whatever dessert it is you like. And we have a lot of recipes on Global Table Adventure that would work, especially the shak chak that we made uh, way back when we cooked, um, way back when we cooked Kazakhstan, I think, when we cooked other countries from this region. And that will definitely bring out the urge to drink up that tea. When you're drinking tea, you're gonna to wanna to drink green tea or black tea. That's typical of the region as well. And one kind, the green, is used to relax, while the black tea is more for an invigorating afternoon pick-me-up. When you serve the tea, it is important to pour it from very high up to get a nice frothy foamy top and that is something they do typically three times for each diner and then the diner will go and pop the bubbles if they can and tap it to the forehead and if they manage to do it before the bubbles hit the edge of the glass then it means they'll have good wealth and if their tea leaves settle to the bottom of the glass all as well but if they stay on the top it just might mean that they're going to have a visitor very soon so the lesson this week is while things can be complicated like boiling times for pectin it can also be really simple and if you're new to traveling the world via stovetop travel then you might want to do something as simple as having a central asian tea party and changing one simple thing like how high you pour your tea could be enough to make your day a little bit more global. So until next time, happy stovetop travels from our global table adventure to yours. Mm -hmm.